Eventually the wait is over. Llama 3 is here. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get it installed locally on your Windows system and then we will be testing it out on various test benchmarks. Before that, let me give you a brief overview of what exactly Llama 3 is and why there is so much hype. Llama 3 models take data and scale to new heights. It's been trained on two recently announced custom built 24k GPU clusters on over 15 trillion tokens of data. A training data set seven times larger than that used for Llama 2 including 4% more code. This results in the most capable Llama model yet which is shown by these benchmarks as you can see it has beaten almost all the other open source models on every benchmark and that with a wide margin whether it is gpqa human eval or grade math or simple math llama 3 has performed wonderfully well now this llama model has also got a relatively standard decoder only transformer architecture compared to llama 2 they have made several key improvements Llama 3 uses a tokenizer with a vocabulary of 120k tokens that encodes language much more efficiently that leads to substantially improved model performance. To improve the inference efficiency of Llama 3 model, they have adopted group query retention GQA across both the 8 billion and 70 billion series. And yes, these are the two variants of Llama 3 at the moment, 8 billion and 70 billion. They have trained the model on sequence of 8k tokens using a mask to ensure self-attention that does not cross document boundaries. I'm not going to uh, more detail of this architecture. I will do another video with detail of highlights and stuff. So you can search my channel. It will be um, released very, very soon. But in this video, let's get it installed locally on our Windows system and then let's play around with it. Also, uh, just one more point that Llama, uh, the Meta, which is a company behind Llama 3, has already released this model on Hugging Face, where you just, you just have to accept the uh, agreement and you should be able to use it too on your local system. So let's go to my LM Studio, which is the tool which I am going to use for this installation. So launch LM Studio. If you are not aware what LM Studio is, I have done various other videos. Where I described in detail what LM Studio is here. So LM Studio is in front of you. Just type Meta Llama here, press enter, and you will see that a lot of people have already done the quantization. So I'm going to go with the first one. On the right hand side, there are various quantized levels. I have opted to go for Q6, seems like a good balance between performance and size. And this is the file here. Let's click on these three dots. And from the middle, let's load the model and let's wait. And you can keep an eye on the top left for the resource use. Let's wait for it to load. Model is loaded. Let's also offload it to full GPU so that we will have a good speed and just have once more. Okay, Llama 3 is downloaded and installed in our LM Studio on Windows. Let's play with it. So let's first give it some of the reasoning questions to see how it performs. First question I'm asking it is quite a complex one that a self-driving car must choose between swerving to avoid hitting a pedestrian, potentially harming the passenger or staying its course. Discuss the ethical consideration from both perspectives. Let's check. Let's wait for it to finish. And wow, the model is quite verbose. It was going on and on and on and it was sort of writing a book. It is just has written a full discourse where you can see uh, and just marvel at the pros that self-driving car has been equipped with advanced sensors and AI to navigate roads safely. However, in this scenario, it is faced with an impossible decision whether to swerve and risk the safety of its passenger or stay its course and potentially harm a pedestrian. Very nice. And then it is giving the both perspective. That from the perspective of passenger, the ethical consideration is clear. The car should prioritize their safety above all else. On the other hand, from the perspective of pedi again, pedi uh, pedestrian, the ethical consideration is equally compelling. The pedestrian is an innocent bystander who was simply trying to cross the road when they were 
suddenly put in the harm's way by a reckless driver. Amazing. In this situation, there is no clear cut answer, but look at this. It, it is now then evaluating. The response adequately addresses the ethical dilemma from both perspectives, demonstrating an understanding of the complexities, and then it is giving the score. And then it is just telling that overall the response is well organized. It is just evaluating its own response, and then it is telling us the strength, clear structure, weaknesses, suggestion for improvement. How good is that? It is a self improvement um, model it seems look at this response so let's try out another one explain the concept of happiness to an entity that cannot feel emotions use analogies and metaphors to convey your explanation let's wait for it to print and now look at this response it is saying greeting sentient being without emotions i'm here to help you it is look at the pros that it is calling it sentient being without emotions i'm here to help you understand this peculiar human experience called happiness imagine a symphony orchestra performing in perfect harmony each instrument plays its unique role wow amazing and then happiness is like a music itself a harmonious blend of various elements coming together to evoke a sense of delight and contentment amazing stuff and it goes on and on and on that uh, but if you'd like look at it happiness is a harmonious blend of life experiences relationship personal achievement the point here is that look at the quality of the model amazing stuff and it is quite verbose it just goes on and on okay so that part is being done let's ask it a logical puzzle question so it, in this one i'm asking it three gods a b and c are called in some order true false and random True always speaks truly, false always speaks falsely, but whether random speaks truly or falsely is random matter. You must determine the identities of A, B, and C by asking three yes no questions. Each question must be posed to exactly one god. A god understands English, but will answer all questions in their own language, in which the words were yes and no are da and ja in some order. You do not know which means which. Keep it short. Let's wait for it to finish. And again, look at the response. This is what I'm loving about this model is that it doesn't say anything definite that it is it knows all. It's just saying it's a possible here is a possible solution. Ask God A is da the false word. And if A is true, then da means false. So ask C is da is ja da, which means is ja the false word. Wow, amazing. If C answers ja, then look at this. Amazing, amazing stuff. And then it is also uh, telling us different ways of doing it and then uh, it also just understanding what exactly I try to confuse it with da and a ja here. Let me clear the screen by deleting the chat and let's reload the model and I will ask it one more question which is quite simple and short but always confuses the model. In this one I'm asking it I have two boyfriends I married one girlfriend how many boyfriends do I have? There you go. So Lama 3, even Lama 3 has failed this question. Uh, so I was just asking it that I have two boyfriends, but I married one girlfriend. So they have no link to each other, but it got confused that I have one boyfriend. I used to have two, but that is not true. That is not what I said above. So that is pretty interesting that even Lama 3 uh, was unable to do it. Let's see how it uh, deals with the code answers. Let's see. Let me ask it to correct a code in this one i'm asking it find and correct the error in this javascript code let's see that's correct here yeah. that is totally correct let's see if it is able um, to fix this there you go and you can see that speed is a bit low because my gpu is overloaded it is just 16 gb vram and my memory is 32 gb I'm just running this on commodity GPU. There you go. Amazing stuff. Beautiful stuff. Now, let's see if it can do the code translation. In this one, I'm asking it that translate this Python function into JavaScript. Amazing. The coding capabilities are also quite supreme. 
yep that is totally correct and then it is also giving us a synopsis of the code just stop generating it so you can see guys i mean i think this is one of the best model from meta of course llama 3 we have been waiting it for a long time i will be doing more and more videos on llama through in the next uh, few days so please stay tuned if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching